for example, which I believe we have time for. I think yeah, we have about five, ten minutes here. Um, that I can show you a little bit more as you get a little bit more of a complicated JavaScript example, how you can still see the relationship between the generated code and uh, what's what's going on with hex. All right, so that's our simple hex JavaScript. I'm just going to close these guys out. All right, close all. So let's actually jump to something a little bit more um, a little more exciting here. Let's actually jump to this canvas demo here. And um, let's open up this guy here. So this is actually a WebGL example I'm using right here. Uh, this is done by uh, Mike Can, I believe is his name. Uh, I would check him out. He's a very talented, both with uh, shader languages, um, you know, like like WebGL, and he's also uh, a very a very proficient hex developer. So this is actually using Canvas and WebGL right now that is written in hex. And I see I can I can right click here and I don't have the flash pop up. And see, so I can you know update this and it's actually really fast. I think having all these um, applications I have right now running, uh, slowing things down a little bit. However, this scales up pretty nicely actually. And uh, if you check out his website, um, you can see where he does this with like you know let me put a million crawlers on the screen and it actually holds up really really well. So we'll just keep this guy running here. So to give you an idea here, I'll we'll kind of look at this example at the source code. So I'm going to open up the source code here and we'll just keep this guy over here so you can look at it. And you can see yeah here he is. So here's his his website here. So I'll definitely check him out for some really cool hex examples. And I'm just going to kind of briefly just run through this really, really, really quick. And you know, you can see that you know this is, of course, not everything, but this is the the, the main method here. Um, so the first thing that you have in hex is you have this this entry point for your application. It's always like a static a static method. It's very similar to um, like Java has the same thing. I think some other languages have it too. Or this is the entry point for the application and you generate an instance of itself. And that might seem kind of odd, but it's actually really, really cool because you can pre-initialize your application before uh, well, before it starts up. So if you have other things to, to configure in your environment before you want the application to start up, um, that's what this actually does for you. And I actually really, really like it. Uh, I kind of, I kind of wish um, you know, Flash would um, have that option, but it just, like right off the bat, you double click on it, it just runs and executes and builds right away. So actually, you can see right here where he's doing a redirect of uh, console tracing, and that's simply just uh, moving the traces from the that div. If you remember in that first example, I had that div that was showing these these traces, and Hex is automatically putting traces right to this div on the page. This, he went ahead and just created a, a method here to redirect from that div to actually the, the JavaScript console. All right, and then he creates a new instance of itself. So this is actually where the party starts. So again, we're waiting for this. And if you're familiar with the JavaScript API, again, if you remember uh, where I talked back earlier, you had to be familiar with um, at least the, the how JavaScript behaves and how the DOM works and how browsers work, because um, otherwise you're going to be really, really lost. So here we're actually, you know, lib.window.onload, that's a standard DOM event that's being thrown. And then he's just catching it and uh, creating this event handler for that. And he's using a dynamic event because that's how it's going from the DOM. It's a, it's a dynamic event. It's JavaScript. It's not typed. But it's still being thrown nonetheless. And, uh, you know, again, we're just, he's creating some default crawlers. He's uh, doing some selectors. Again, if you know uh, jQuery, you're, you're familiar with this, which is creating a, a new jQuery instance, which is a very similar if you just use the, uh, the dollar sign. And um, so we're adding some events, like here, I'll actually set this guy over a little bit. So actually, uh, num crawler's input is actually this guy right here, the input. And then the update button is this guy right here. So you can actually see how we're intertwining JavaScript and jQuery and Hex all together and using those and the event system and binding it all together to, um, to work with, with your target. And uh, again, straightforward. 
once we generate um, or catch the event, we have these callbacks and some other stuff that he's done for, um, for help.